While internal components and features may vary by brand and model, the installation instructions covered are applicable for the Maytag dishwasher models listed. Model number may be found on the appliance's outer carton as well as on the interior left side of the tub. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. My name is Phil Alley. I'm the product service manager for Whirlpool for the dish category. And today we're going to cover the new installation of a new model line we've got out uh, that's going to launch in February of 2020. It's a new design dishwasher from the ground up. So there are some installation differences from what you used to in the past. Uh, we're going to cover a KDPM 804 model today. What's new, unique, and different with the 2020 model line that's coming out. We've got a taller tub. The drain hose connection is new. It's got a 110 degree elbow. We've got four new insulation anchor points for the insulation blanket that goes around a dishwasher. So when you push it in the cat out, it doesn't bunch up on you. We've got four new leveling legs. We've got a new drip pan and float assembly. The dishwasher will not run unless the float and drip pan is connected. If you try to start the dishwasher without it connected, it's going to beep at you and give you a uh, F8E4 code. And once you plug the drip pan in, you'll be able to go ahead and run it through a test cycle. It's got a new H2O error code, which is a F8E1, that if you forget to turn the water supply on, it's going to tell you uh, to that the water supply is not turned on to the dishwasher. It's got a new install and service cycle that you can run. It's a short five minute cycle that you can run while you're checking for leaks. All right, one thing I just want to uh, recap and remind you that this unit has a new uh, drip pan and float assembly. That's one of the last things you're going to install before you put the front tow panel on and we want you to run a short installation service cycle or you could do a rinse only. We're just uh, trying to run, make sure we get water in it, the unit's working and you want to check for leaks before you put the tow and insulation panel on. And that install service cycle is a real quick key dance, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you're successful, all the LEDs will come on and then you can uh, rapid advance it steps one through six. Step one is drain, step two is fill, step three is wash. Uh, and like I say, it's a short five minute cycle or you can rapid advance it to whatever portion of the cycle that you want. Uh, and just to make sure we're doing this so you check for leaks.